<sighs> so it turns out that uh, Reverse Flash wasn't Barry from the future. <laughs> whoa, 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 we don't know that for sure. <laughs> so it is. Perhaps. Call me. Perhaps but it was he, great. he used that machine know. where he sucked Barry's face. <laughs> well, Flash is the best show, TV show on TV on show. TV. Definitely TV. the best show CW has ever done. Yes. The oh, best, yeah. The best, best show on TV. Book show. Best show on yeah. TV. It's, it's a, almost a perfect season. Yeah. All right, so I was sitting at I was sitting at work, right? And Sam hooked me up. See, you're gonna get, you're gonna get your thank you now, you piece of shit. <laughs> I've been fuck. waiting like ten. Yeah, I know. Uh, Sam hooked it up with that CW tip. He was like, "Mary, you're gonna see it over here." Thank you, Sam. You smell like shit. <laughs> so, and uh, I'm watching it, and it gets to that point where um, Barry looks at Joe and says, "You know, goodbye, Dad." And and, and Joe's like, "Goodbye, son." <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> ha, ha, and then not even five minutes later, the scene happens where finally the payoff of 20-something episodes, Barry gets there with his mother, and they, in fucking two and a half minutes, they kill it. How about Barry's actual father? Yeah, oh, that, but, but, but it, it, that happens, those two scenes happen within five minutes of each other. I'm sitting at work, okay? Oh. People are walking by my office, <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> they're, 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 they're watching you cry and then they hear hey now hey. Yeah. they just think you're watching like a prom in the 80s yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like beautiful nigga and that's the like, like, fuck you I love crap yes. yes I was like that's the night I was conceived guys the back of El Camino <laughs> I'm but, watching Romy Michelle's High School Reunion. Yeah, fantastic movie, by the way. No, but, but dude, like, that movie, they, like, they didn't, they didn't, we knew what was coming, but they didn't give us a break. They were like, yeah. you were about to cry, boom. you're going to cry harder, boom. Eddie, it's going to hurt, boom. You didn't know what was going to happen. That Eddie, ah, that Eddie, no, like, ah, I didn't, I didn't we, think I was going to give a shit. We didn't know. We knew he was going to go back in time and, and stop his mom from getting murdered. Yeah. Oh, and then he got there. Yeah. Even in the preview, he's, like, he's with his, he's with his mother in the preview. Like, yeah. you see it, like, he's like, oh, who are you? He's like, it's me, it's Barry. And I'm like, oh, shit, he saved her. And then he, he doesn't. Oh, like, nah. <gasps> because he did oh, a pocket. He, 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 he did a pocket. He was like, so no, actually, because he wanted to stop the new 52. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. This, this is a thank God. God. Have you read Flash? It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is Wally's is Black. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Wally's Black? <laughs> this is actually the first time we're all sitting down actually talking about Flash since yeah. it started airing, believe yeah. it or not. Uh, because the only thing that's really been doing is I've been doing like the flashbacks thing, which what we talked about. Fantastic, um, watch it. Give me a minute. I- I'm just gonna go do something real quick. Welcome back to Flashbacks. I'm Tony from CBFU, and since I've missed so many episodes, let's run them all down real quick right now. Starting with episode 18, All Star Team Up. All right. So this episode introduces a classic Adam villain, the Bug Eye Bandit, better known as Bertram Larvin. Well, in this episode, it's actually a Bree Larvin. They decided to do a gender swap on this character, but otherwise, it's it's more or less stays true to the spirit of the character, minus the costume. This is the first inkling we're getting that Cisco Ramon is going to become Vibe because he's having these uh, dreams of a previous timeline that he should have no memory of. But we'll get more onto that uh, much later on. So I like covering a lot of uses of Flash's speed and powers. Uh, this one introduces one that was actually new to me even, which is he uses a the built-up static charge in his body to actually act as a defibrillator to restart Cisco's heart. Lastly, to finish up All-Star Team Up, we're getting the first hints that Ray Palmer is actually going to shrink as the Atom. But again, we'll get to that later on in this video. Moving on, let's cover episode 19, who is Harrison Wells? This episode's villain is Hannibal Bates. He's a Green Arrow villain, better known as the Everyman. Keeping with the 52 motif of this series, the camera in the squad car that gives us the shot of uh, every man disguised as Eddie Thawne killing those two cops is actually labeled as Camera 52. Lastly, and what I feel is the most important thing about this episode, is actually something it does to better Arrow, which is give Black Canary her canary cry. Uh, rather than her being a metahuman, since she was never a part of any the particle explosion in Central City and that's how they've been introducing the metas, uh, they have Cisco actually build her a collar that emits the canary cry, much like her sister's grenade, but now it actually looks like she's actually screaming. So I think that's actually a good compromise for the show, um, and I've actually been enjoying how, uh, how it's been implemented on Arrow. Moving on to episode 20, The Trap. This next one might be the writers responding to fan outcries that DC character costumes are too dark both in film and on TV, when Cisco notes of the future Barry's costume that the suit is much more red, and he digs the white background behind the lightning bolt. Now, while it didn't quite make it into the episode, in the comic book preview of this episode, there's a moment where Cisco, uh, Caitlin, and Barry are all in the secret room with Gideon, 
and Gideon actually tells Barry that he's going to be the founding member of the Justice League. Now in the show, it start, cuts off after founding member. In the comic preview though, it actually at least gave you the Justice and the beginning of the word League and then it got cut off. To add to Cisco becoming vibe in this episode, we get what looks to be the glasses that he'll be wearing when he becomes vibe. They're a combination of his new 52 glasses with maybe a little bit of a motif of the older ones, and I actually really liked it for the show. So this episode introduces yet another use of Barry's speed, and it's one I've actually been familiar with in the comics, and that's how Barry uses his arms uh, spinning in like a cyclone kind of motion uh, to put out fires, and he's done this uh, to uh, brace falls of characters, he's done this to put out fires, he's done this to uh, move water in different areas. Uh, it's just something he's he's known to do uh, quite often. Believe it or not, episode 21, Grodd Lives, doesn't really have anything that I need to tell you guys. We've already seen Grodd in motion, this one just gives us a full Grodd appearance and the full extent of his powers up until this point. And it also hints that maybe in the future, as he's getting more and more intelligent, he's going to get bigger and possibly even just start talking without having to, the need of psychic powers. Moving on to episode 22, Rogue Air. This episode gives us the first look at the secret rogues bar. This is where all the rogues go to unwind and hang out and plan out jobs. Uh, Barry actually shows up here to talk to Captain Cold because he needs him to transport these other metas. Uh, and I also like to point out the fact that uh, Maybe it's a bit cheesy, but I actually really dug it. Uh, the jukebox, as they're about to start talking, starts playing Cold as Eyes by Foreigner. If there's one character that Jeff Johns is synonymous with besides The Flash, it's actually Hal Jordan. And this episode gives us the first direct reference to him. Uh, we've seen Barry go to Coast City numerous times to test out his speed and to pick up pizza, but this time when they go to Ferris Air, they note that it's been closed down because one of their test pilots has gone missing, which means Hal Jordan has already gotten the ring and is on Oa, probably learning how to harness that ring. So maybe we'll see him in another season, maybe we'll see him on Legends, who knows, but uh, fingers crossed. So while we've seen Barry face some rogues before in one-on-one -on -one situations and when he fought Heatwave and Captain Cold at the same time, uh, this is the first time he's fought, faced almost a full team of them, and this is going to probably be the first iteration of the uh, of the first team. So it's going to be Captain Cold, Golden Glider, most likely Heatwave, The Mist, possibly Weather Wizard, and Rainbow Raider. Um, now I'm not sure if they're all going to come back in season two or if they're all going to be on uh, Legends of Tomorrow. But again, I think that's the first team that they're planning to use on uh, on a future episode. While episode 20 may have hinted that Barry is a founding member of Justice League, we may have seen its first iteration starting to form in this one. And that is with Barry teaming up with Oliver Queen and Ronnie Raymond as, uh, as Firestorm to take on the Reverse Flash. So quite a few episodes ago, we got to see the first look at the Flash ring. And when Harrison Wells last used it, he used it to open up the compartment that housed the uh, Reverse Flash suit, and it was stored on a mannequin. This episode, though, introduces the traditional uh, use of it where the suit is actually stored inside the ring, and he uses his speed to basically put it on uh, as it's shot out. Now let's move on to episode 23, the finale, Fast Enough. So for starters, there appear to be no cows in the future if we're to trust Eobard Thawne, and that's precisely 136 years into the future, which would make it year 2151. There were a lot of emotional scenes in this episode, and during one between Barry and his father, uh, Henry tells Barry that the one thing he really hopes for his son is that one day he becomes a father and knows what it feels like to care for his son. And that's, that's what he uses as his motivation to tell Barry to not worry about the past and just keep moving forward. And what's interesting to note is that in the comics, Barry does end up becoming a father and he and Iris go into the future to raise their children. Something that I like about this series is that it's not afraid to take little jabs at its competitor at Marvel. Uh, we've seen them already say Flame On in an episode before, and this time we get Martin Stein actually saying that when the particle accelerator works and the wormhole's created, that he might actually shout out Excelsior, which is actually Stan Lee's uh, catchphrase. While Legends of Tomorrow is still in the early stages of development, we do get to see the Time Sphere, a time machine designed by Rip Hunter, leader of the Time Masters. Now, we know Rip Hunter will appear in the show, but we've yet to be confirmed if his father, Booster Gold, will also appear. So we get the big reveal that Cisco Ramon, since the particle accelerator exploded, is in fact a metahuman, and his powers are that he is still able to experience memories of, from previous timelines or alternate timelines, and he may actually be able to detect things from different dimensions. 
Uh, in the comics, Vibe's powers work very much in that sense, but he also has like vibrating powers. So we'll see where this goes in Season 2 and possibly the Legends of Tomorrow. Now the Final 52 reference of Season 1 comes in the time that Barry has to go to the past and come back before the wormhole grows into a giant singularity, and that time being 1 minute and 52 seconds. Now the significance of the number 52 outside of the obvious new 52 really comes from the 2006 weekly series just titled 52. It's a series that focuses on characters like Booster Gold, Steel, Rene Montoya, Ralph Dimney, and basically a ton of uh, B characters in the DC Universe, uh, basically filling the gap between uh, Infinite Crisis and the one year later story lines that happened uh, right after that event. Uh, it's one of my favorite DC stories of all time. It's basically uh, 52 weeks of a missing year in that in that time frame. Uh, it's a fantastic read. I strongly recommend anyone that's interested in these kinds of characters to go check it out. And what may be the most exciting moment in this episode, when Eobard Thawne is getting ready to go into the time sphere, you see the uh, helmet of Jay Garrick fly through the wormhole and land, and everyone's just kind of looking at it, confused on the floor. And it seems as though Thawne recognizes it, and he's like, well, time for me to go. And given the design that they used, I'm really hoping it is the traditional Jay Garrick and that he's an older speedster. Uh, I'm pretty confident we're going to see him in the next season. Uh, I would really hope to see a world with the Justice Society, which is essentially a team of older superheroes uh, that have been around for a good while, and uh, they would serve as a great uh, means to uh, teach some of these young heroes that, on, that are going to be on the CW, both in Flash and Legend of Tomorrow, and even from Arrow. So we'll see where this goes, but um, that, that was the most exciting development from this episode. This may be the second time Barry's traveled to the past this season, but this was our first real good look at him traveling through the Speed Force, and in doing so we see alternate timelines and potential future plot lines, uh, including the fully built Flash Museum. We get a shot of Caitlyn Snow transformed into Killer Frost. We get a shot from the Legends of Tomorrow trailer. And we also get a shot of Henry Allen actually being a free man and Barry being the one that's actually in jail. Now whether or not any of these plot lines will actually come to fruition, we won't know until Season 2 or potentially Legend of Tomorrow. But again, uh, paired with everything else that's gone on in this episode, it leaves us all extremely excited for what's to come in the future. Now to wrap this all up, I know I said I didn't want to do speculation too much in this series, but I feel like I have to explain at least my interpretation of the ending, which is... Uh, Eddie Thawne kills himself to save everyone in the room um, from Eobard Thawne killing everyone. And he does so uh, by shooting himself. Now, without Eddie Thawne, there's no Eobard Thawne. But without Eobard Thawne, there's no death of Nora Allen, and possibly no creation of the Flash. And all of this starts to unravel, and that's why the wormhole opens, and Barry decides to run into it to try to close it up. Uh, as he's doing so, we get shots of the city, and the city reacting, and one of the people in the city actually happens to be Hawk Girl, who we will see in Legends of Tomorrow. And I thought it was just a nice little, like, quick cameo, just to show that she was already existing in this world prior to the events of the finale. Um, now, how she's going to factor into Legends or Flash Season 2, we don't know yet. But I, it's, fair, it's safe to say that I believe every one of us that have been watching up to this point is super excited and anticipating Legends of Tomorrow and Flash Season 2 uh, immensely. So, uh, fantastic job to all of the creators and writers on this show. I know I give a lot of credit to Jeff Johns, but everyone else that's worked on it, uh, fantastic job. All the actors, uh, everyone. Uh, it's my favorite show on TV for a reason, and it's one of the favorite shows of the admins of CBFU. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this one. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do one for Season 2 yet. I haven't decided simply because my schedule uh, towards the end of season one kind of uh, fell apart and I got very uh, very much behind um, but if you would like to see me uh, attempt it um, just let me know uh, either in the comments or on the Facebook group uh, which you can find in the links below now if you excuse me I have a podcast to get back to bye so, yeah now that I got that out of the way uh, <laughs> stuck it in basically yes. I did the flashbacks <laughs> now that I got that out of the way I, I didn't um, change the movie. That, that, that was the CW <laughs> that drama. Quick. That was in a flash. Yeah, that was a yeah. flash. Bro. That was the kind of CW drama that's okay. Oh, sure. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they the fucking, the actors killed it. It was, it was well acted. It was amazing. And it wasn't, Yo, it, it, it wasn't based <laughs> on bullshit. No, you yeah. know what I, I saw Tony before? I, <coughs> I didn't give a shit about Thawne, the detective. 
Right. Yeah, for the long Eddie, time. No, I, I hate him. him. I hate him. He's like, he was in the way. Yeah. <laughs> and I kept thinking he's going to be a bad guy. He's a fuck. But he's the nicest <laughs> fucking guy from beginning <laughs> to end. And then we're all he's just like, like, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. He goes out of his way. And then he's just like, all right. Screw the future. He's like, I'm the hero. Screw the future. There's only one time he acts like Ryan Lee punches Barry in the face. And he has every right to him. And then he goes, fuck you. And then he's like, I'm so sorry. He's on your milkshake, motherfucker. He's on your milkshake. He's You know what the craziest thing is? With him killing himself, that making that ultimate sacrifice, he has... Fucked everything. He has... Not only that, but he has put a kibosh on that relationship. Because she's just gonna be like, she's she, she's just thinking to herself like, I'm mad wet for this nigga. This guy killed himself. Yeah. I was ready me. to marry him. And Papa, marry oh, him. <laughs> he won't be dead if they like if they carried like the whole paradise. It all depends when, on the direction when he, of the show. When he, yeah. when he got sucked up into that wormhole, <sighs> zoom. He's gotta become a zoom. I'm telling nah. you, zoom. You might as well have awesome. make it to Solomon. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, like he, he went into know. that like wormhole for a reason. Well, yeah, and they showed it for a while. They were like, there's his body. There's his body. And now here's a cut, and now he's going out the world. Cobalt was blue. You see this? And I read an article that said Cobalt Blue. Oh! So perhaps. I could be you heard it here first. Perhaps. Spider-Verse. I, I, I just don't want him to be a, a bad guy. I don't. No, because he's, he's too nice. sweet. He can yeah. be the sweetest He can be man. fucking John Fox for all I care. It's yeah. like, he's no one sweet. gave a shit about John Fox. No one remembers hot. John Fox. Put him in that suit and just call him a fucking new speedster. Something. Yeah. He's just such a nice well, guy. Well, the guy, the creators of the show have said no, no one is dead. Yeah. For oh, yeah, the, yeah. Dude, that ending I mean, on, basically on, blew reason. all the doors open. Yeah. 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 Jay Garrick's helmet. Jay oh, Garrick's helmet. Don't even start with Earth 2 because oh. that just. I was just like. That episode made us cry and then said, but look at what's coming. Yeah. We're going to give you Earth 2. And it, it yeah. seemed like almost like, who was it? It seemed like, I think Cha said, or, or like, Wells saw the the helmet or whatever, and he was like, oh, that's my guy. I get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, he knew who it yeah. was. Yeah. Like, he's dealt with Jake. Like, Jake Garrett kicked his ass a couple of times yeah. before. Which I want to see. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Come on, dude. Wait, have you I'm seen him? I don't know. What's, what, what, what's, the, what's the villain? Uh, Tom Cavanaugh. That's the actor's name? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Cavanaugh. He is great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. And they said he's not going anywhere. Good. Yeah. 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 You know what, though? Like, really he's, good he's amazing, but that they showed like smidges of actual Ebar. Yeah. I kind of like that guy. He looks fucking creepy. Yeah, his face. Like, if they his just face bring a uh, nightmare. If they just bring Wells back yeah. and just have him oh, be Wells, Dr. Wells and yeah. the other guy yeah. be, uh, uh... And just have him as Wells? Yeah. He'll be okay. I'd be I'd awesome. I, guess, I, I, I love him as River Fox. Yeah. I would I would miss him as a villain. I would miss him as a villain. Dude, can we even mention fucking Grodd yet? Before we get to Grodd, can we pull up the star of Flash? Oh, real star. Cisco was hooking oh, everyone up. Oh, a meta human the entire series. No, how good about the character? I'm good with yeah. you. How, yeah, well, first you were fantastic. <laughs> I held it down. I held it together. I'm the glue for the cast. <laughs> yeah, they made me laugh yeah, every time. He's the heart. They're like, the heart of the show. They're like, Fre- I mean, Cisco. <laughs> they, call me, they just call me Cisco. They're like, You're for the some reason, something's free. I'm I'm brown. Yo, where those glasses at? That was just, Dorm, he was such a Cisco named all the villains, yeah. hooked up uh, Laurel. He was just like, oh, here's Laurel. your canary cry. Yeah. And, um, and, and made, made, and made <laughs> Laurel likable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, he made Laurel likable. Laurel made Laurel likable. Yeah. 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 He <laughs> fixed so many problems. Uh-huh. On Arrow yeah. by just having those characters show up on the show. Yeah. It's like, oh, Laurel needs a canary cry. How are we gonna do that? Bam. Oh, here's here's Cisco. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bam, uh, uh, Ray, Ray doesn't shrink yet. Oh, maybe if he introduces smaller components into the suit. Oh, I never thought of that. By the end of this episode, he's like, I'm gonna think smaller. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, he's already he's already vibing on himself because they already showed the sunglasses that he rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. he's on his way. He's on his way. You know, and when that, first, that show first started. I didn't think that I would enjoy Nobody. It. I didn't think, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like myself here. But, uh, <laughs> you did a fantastic like, job. He's so, it, he's so, enjo- like, entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. You were so theory, good. Man. You convinced yourself so, to like yeah, yeah. 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 it. His whole thing with, I uh, what's that? Like 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 Golden Glad time. Golden Glad. Golden Glad. Golden Glad. Golden Glad. Golden so fucking cool. I just love that whole thing where he's just like, Golden nah. Nah, you don't want to hit it. He's like, nah, but yeah. Like, he wants to hit it. Dude, but he knows but then he fell into it, and she fucked him over, and it was kind of, it's cool. And it was, he's still just like, God damn it, I hate being a good yeah, guy right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, because he wants to hit it. By the way, you have, like, hundreds of tumblers dedicated to people loving your fucking shirts, by the yeah. way. Yeah, your shirts are fantastic. And, uh, Best shirts on, in, t- on TV. How about that like, gift for you? Know, you know, I think you know, Cisco. Cisco. I think Cisco. Suck Suck on on <laughs> I, I, my favorite gift is, is definitely Fredo Cisco. Lollipop? Sucking on that lollipop. No, I, I, I think when he's like, 
Oh, that's so cool. And it just keeps getting cooler. <laughs> <laughs> You're great on that oh, show. It's my favorite show. It's my favorite show. to create a lot of these gifts. Yeah, yeah. with you. I told yeah. your girlfriend to do that lollipop one. Oh, Because I really yeah. want to he see that. Do you have a lollipop here? Do that for a show. Hang on. Brown chocolate flavor. It's chocolate flavor. He's got a fucking brown chocolate flavor. We got a big flavor. We got about six to choose from. Boom. Skin flavor. But his lollipop is just awesome. Ah, Lugos. Lugos lollipop. Flash is great. Yeah. Yeah. Rod, and the episode, the episode with Rod, when he, when he takes Joe, they made yeah. it yeah. 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 and it wasn't yeah. shitty. It wasn't yeah. shitty. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's the scariest girl I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, he's, they he's, didn't he's take funny. any like stupid shortcuts, and they were like, "Oh, you people are gonna be a giant uh, gorilla who has psychic powers." And yeah. they were like, "Nope, here it is. This yeah. is Rod." And he's gonna come back. You know, he's gonna come back, and he's gonna be fully. Like mind, he's gonna be able to talk mm-hmm. and not just say me, Grod. Yeah. yeah. Hello. I mean, like, Rod. Bro, I, back I, I wanted to have an English accent. That. What's that? Do you want to do another part on? Work for Grod. I mean, I think we're good with Flash. Really. Ooh, okay, because really? we are at like the last ten seconds. Yeah, I mean, Flash is awesome. Flash, yes. Flash, Flash, Flash is, uh, is the best show I've seen in a while. Yep. It's been so good from beginning to end. Yeah, consistent. You, we don't get a lot of those. Rod Rod so, and then especially Rod Rod being Joe. Flash. It was universe building. We're getting Earth 2. It was great. All the characters were awesome. Flash is the shit. And Watch Detective shit. West lived through that yes. the whole season. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We love you, Joe. 23 episodes, Joe. We love you, Joe. Joe. Joe made it through a gorilla <laughs> raid. Betty, I don't know how to do it. I don't know either. Just do it. Joe, <laughs> Joe, Joe. Or Joe. Oh, that's something in my mouth. Yeah. 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 This CD's so uh, Flash. But Flash is great. If yeah. you haven't watched it, please do yourself yeah. a favor. Yeah. Watch it. It's awesome. They're going to rerun it all summer. Yep. As they oh, should. Awesome. And the all ending, summer. who knows what the no. fuck is going on. Get ready to cry yeah. a lot. Yeah. All right, guys. See you. Bye. El flechazo. Come on.